Here at First Energy Stadium, Cub Cadet Field, weekly preview with head coach Jared Embick and coach preseason just wrapped up. Uh, first of all, reflect on preseason pre how that went, and then we'll go into talking about uh, this upcoming weekend with the two opponents, Butler and North Carolina State. Yeah, we, you know, I think we fared pretty well. We played three preseason matches, which is unusual for us, but with uh, so many new players on the roster, I think it was important that you know, as a coach, we got to put everybody in a game situation, see what they can bring to the table, help them kind of move forward and, you know, start to establish our identity and, and our style of play and try to implement that better each game. And, uh, you know, we ended with IU, very difficult match where we had a couple good periods of play. We had a couple periods where we struggled. Uh, but at the end of the day, I think with this new group, they're, they're fighters and they're competitors, and we, we just found a way to kind of grind out a result. Um, under very difficult circumstances uh, with the weather. But, uh, you know, that's why we, we set it up this way, so we can grow as quick as we can and get as ready as much as we can uh, for the new season and, and difficult opening matchups. Of course, expectations are always high from the fans, from the university. Um, now with this younger group, talk. how do you manage that those expectations, being a top five team in the country? I think everyone just needs to kind of enjoy watching the process. We're going to have up and downs. We're going to have inconsistent play. Uh, we'll probably have some good results, and we, we may have some bad results um, at the time being. But I think, you know, as you watch this team move forward, I think you'll see the growth. You'll see the continuity, the identity form before your eyes. And to me, sometimes that's more fun than just walking out and seeing a you know, closer to finished product and a team that's dominating, you can say, hey, I was here when we were, you know, struggling and had some poor periods of play, but now I watch this team, they're like a machine. So I just say, just enjoy it. Enjoy the growth, enjoy the, the youthful enthusiasm, and enjoy, you know, the potential that we have here for the future. You have a young member of your team, Maverick, from Team Impact, and he's starting a new uh, kind of give back thing. Can you talk briefly about his uh, plan and his idea for folks who are coming to First Energy Stadium, Cub Cadet Field? It's great to see Maverick, who's gone through so much, um, you know, in his own life physically and with illnesses and other things and struggles, and him come to realization that he's still very fortunate. You know, he has a lot to offer and um, that, you know, it's very powerful to give back um, to the community and help other people that are maybe even less fortunate than them. So I was really excited when he, he came to me at the idea. His idea is, uh, you know, he's asking fans to bring a new ball to the stadium. In exchange for the new ball, we'll give you an Akron soccer t-shirt. And then he's going to take the new balls to Children's Hospital and give it to less fortunate kids to kind of give them uplifting experience and, and hopefully, you know, a soccer ball that they can play with. and find some joy with as he has found joy through soccer as well and I think it's a tremendous idea I, I hope the community comes out supports it you know I'm really excited for the the program throughout the year and then coach this weekend Butler North Carolina State what can you tell us about those two matchups well it's going to be difficult you know Butler uh, has quite a few starters back I think they have seven starters back from last year's team plus two guys that were were starters and then uh, you know had medical red shirts so nine kind of key players that have played a lot of minutes for him coming back from a sweet 16 team. Uh, we mentioned our youth, you know, even though we're talented, we, we've got a long way to go. So it's going to be going to be difficult. It's going to be ones where we really need the fans to support us, get behind us, you know, really push us on to, to help us through. Um, NC State, they made the tournament last year and they return again. Another experienced team coming back. Um, and they're looking to take the next step in their program and uh, they're coming into our place and it's an ACC game so we got to step it up and we you know this weekend can go a long way for us getting off on the right foot building confidence and momentum uh, but we're gonna have to really play well against two experienced uh, difficult opponents. Thanks for your time coach and fans again those two matchups are this Friday August 24th at 7 p.m. that's against Butler and August 27th Monday at 7 p.m. against North Carolina State. If you can't be here with us at First Energy Stadium, Cub Cadet Field, you can always watch on ESPN3 on Friday night and ESPN Plus on Monday. For Chad Welker and the Zips Digital Network, go Zips.